Welcome to My Incredible Little Life. Dealer checking in with you right now. It is episode 143. And as you guys read the title, Caribou took my gains. So let's start at the beginning of the story. It goes something like this. I woke up hella late, but I did not give two shits. I've been planning, I've been carving, I've been creating the perfect schedule for me for the rest of the week and going forth. And I was not going to allow work and me being late to kill the excitement of what's happening today and what's happening throughout the weeks. Got to work, there's not tons of work, so I used all my downtime to finish up the rest of my planning. Uh, I wanted to go to the gym today, actually put in some real effort today and actually go in there with a plan, solidify that plan and you know just keep it moving. So I was on YouTube looking at the best exercise possible to get the most out of each push, everything. So, and plus I have knee issues as well. So I had to go check on that as well because I am doing a full body workout every single time I go into the gym. And currently my schedule is gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm just gonna try to hit everything all at once. But as well, you know, recovery, try to get some ice on me and try to get some massaging on me as well. So that was the plan of action. So I had a few loose ends to take care of today. So I did that and I was ready to go to the gym. Like I even got off work early. Um, I got the quota of cash flow that I needed for the day and I went straight to the gym. So here are some of the exercises that I did today. So I killed it. Uh, the only real problem was is that I'm still really working on the whole knee issue. So I really can't go crazy with my legs. But what you guys did not know is that I'm actually going to therapy for my knees. I'm not really in bad shape. I'm pretty sure it's jeans, you know, cause my dad has bad knees as well, but it's probably jeans. And ultimately they're just saying that you're holding a lot of your pressure and your weight in your knees they're gonna to try to strengthen everything around the knee and then also strengthen the knee as well. I didn't really wanna go in there and like, you know, overexert myself or maybe hurt myself. So I was like, let me go check that first. But what you guys don't know is that I've been doing something like an intermittent fasting. Um, every day I've been probably eating around three and I'm pretty much good. And I mean, like y'all, <laughs> I'm like, I'm killing like salad. I'm even having desserts. I'm gonna cut that out as well. Cause you know, sweets aren't necessarily good for you, but I had salads. I would have like, you know, my main course and I was always having delicious bread, the delicious bread. It was so good. But going forward, I am gonna incorporate a snack around 11 or 12. That way I have some type of energy when I go to the gym and I'll be able to work out. So for the last three weeks, I've been really laying down the foundation for me to get back in the gym. And now we're here. So it's dope. Um, I'm not doing crazy, crazy things just yet. Everything's really low weight because it's my first day back and it's my first day really being focused and I don't want to kill myself and not be able to go the next time I need to go, which is Wednesday. So let's get to the story. So let's go back to the original topic. Um, Caribou took my gains. So I was so excited about today and the rest of the week and just being in the mindset of like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry for it. So I also got hungry for Chipotle. Vinaigrette, which was, I mean, not a bad idea because Chipotle can be kind of sort of good for you if you do the right things. The next step is what pushed me over the edge. So I walked into Caribou and this happened. Hi, welcome to Caribou Boo. How can I help you today? Oh, hi, how you doing? Um, um, can I get one of those coffee-less or no coffee drinks? Um, I'll take the Oreo, the cookies and cream. Okay, great. What size would you like? Um, I'll take the biggest one you got. Okay, I guess, whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, um, could you add some caramel to that, please? Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> so, this is what they serve me. So I had no clue that Caribou is serving people a 44 ounce of 
death, liquid death. I did not know that. Ultimately, this is my fault because I didn't know that. And I always go to every single restaurant or any place that serves any type of drinks, like a smoothie or something like that, because that's usually what I'm getting is smoothies. I don't really drink like shakes and all that stuff. I always coin the same phrase, you know, it's the same thing. Give me the biggest one you got. So I guess when people say, okay, well, I guess, that usually is an indicator that you are not gonna get what you're thinking you're gonna get. So when she said eight something, I was like, dang, eight dollars, man. What, that's a lot, eight dollars. Now that I saw the drink, I realized that it's eight dollars worth for sure, for sure, because that does not make sense. This thing is almost like a Slurpee. I don't even understand, like the big 44 joints that you get from the gas station. So my bad, but definitely killed all my gains for sure. So thank you, Caribou. You did a great job by killing all my gains. And the thing is, I have another issue that you guys probably don't know about as well, is that I can't hold things in my hand. So what that means is that if it's a beverage, if it's a sandwich, if it's a burger, if it's a pizza slice, and if it's in my hand, it can't stay there because I can't allow it to like my body won't allow me to keep it in hand like i it's so hard for me to save anything because i just have to devour it right away so i basically had a 15 to 20 minute drive home and that thing was gone within that time frame another thing caribou what the hell is wrong with your whipped cream that whipped cream is whack it's not good it's not tasty it is literally diet whipped cream it's foamy and it's got this it's got it's just a weird texture to it it doesn't even feel like real whipped cream like y'all need to stop what y'all doing that stuff is whack it, i don't even want to call it diet is it even sweet and then all of a sudden it gets all chalky in your mouth like yo y'all need to get rid of that man i don't know where y'all got that from and I was like coughing and all time. I'm like, yo, this is trash, dog. Y'all don't need to do that anymore. But anyways, um, that's what happened. Um, that's how my gains got taken away. Like, I'm pretty sure any muscle building that I did today just got served tons of fat. But it's fine. I'm gonna get this recovery going. You know what I'm saying with the massage and all that stuff. Get the um, get the Tiger Bomb. Whoever knows about the Tiger Bomb, you know what I'm saying. Get the Tiger Bomb, and we're gonna be right back at it again. So I just want to share the story with you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.